we are here at the David E. Alper Nature Preserve. Let's see how this new trail works. It's new and it's high tech. Okay, I brought my smartphone. Look, here's the start. Let's read the instructions. There are 145 species found so far in the preserve. 30 key pine barren species are tagged along the trail. The trail is QR coded or labeled with images our phone or tablet apps can scan and connect to the internet information pages describing each plant species and showing us photos. First, you need to download the app on your device. I have downloaded QR scanner, so I'm gonna open it up on my phone and I am now ready to scan. First step is to scan the resource QR codes and save in our app for reference as we go. There's even a map. There are even wizard wands and walking sticks to take along the trail. And the first one on the map is sassafras. There's sassafras right here. Woo. Sassafras is one of the most common sightings in the Alper Preserve. It is easy to recognize by its often crooked trunks, characteristically furrowed mature bark, and smooth green bark on young branches and stems. There are plants around the preserve uh, that are not labeled, like here. Here's some Indian pipe. You've got to search high and low. In a small space, you can learn the difference between black oak, white oak, red oak, and scarlet oak. Oh look, here's dingleberry. Oh wait, dangleberry or blue huckleberry. Pretty sure these are edible. Let's scan it. After only one third of a mile, we've reached the end of the plant trail. Let's test ourselves on the way back. There are more places to explore. Levitate. And look, here's a turtle nest where baby turtles hatched. 